another day that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, so make sure to check back whenever I upload videos, and also make sure to stay tuned past the outro for a super secret video in every video. Enjoy. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's James, and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Dragon's Teeth DLC and the four new maps that have came with it. Uh, before we get too deep into things, I want to apologize for the intro. For those Picassos out there that follow me, I apologize. It isn't up to standard. I have somebody working on it. I made that one myself in Sony Vegas. It isn't amazing, but you know, it does the job for now. I'm trying to get a new level and standard of stuff going on video, so I apologize for the kind of cut and intro and outro quality, but it will be getting better. Either way, today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Battlefield 4 Dragon's Teeth DLC. It did come out about a week ago, and I apologize. I'm a little bit late on this one. I told you guys I'd be covering it, and I ended up not getting a chance to until now. And people were tweeting me, asking me what was up with it, and so I figured better late than never, talk a little about the DLC, what's going on, and uh, have some fun facts, trivia, review, and breakdown of all four of the new maps. All video going up later today talking about chain links, so you can check that out too. But uh, today, like I mentioned we're going to be talking about the four new maps in the DLC that is Lumfini Garden, Pearl Market, Propaganda, and Sunken Dragon. Uh, there's a theme going with all these. They're all supposed to be like a very urban warfare themed set or DLC. I personally like this. This is my favorite out of all the Battlefield 4 DLCs and updates. This has to be my far favorite, just complete favorite DLC. Every map on this was actually really fun. They all have their own unique elements. And to start off, we're going to be talking a little bit about Lumfini Garden. Just like all the other Dragon's Teeth maps, very focused on infantry combat, very up close. And the only vehicles in this map are going to be smaller things like the quad bike, the skid loader, and uh, only function as light transportation. Very up close, in your face combat, which is very fun. And uh, the date of this map is going to be around 2020. It's located in Bangkok, Thailand. Very urban terrain, close quarters, which does make things interesting and fun. And there are a few things in the map that can um, be used to your advantage. There are two water pressure control switches south of flag A and C. And when enabled, water will stop coming out of the vents. A very uh, a vertical map, I guess you can say. There's a lot of stuff going down on the bottom. And you can also climb up top and have some fun on the train tracks. That's about it for Lumfini Garden, though a very fun map. I like the coloring on this map. I think all of the maps have great coloring. They all have their own unique feel to them, which is great. I think that DICE did an amazing job. Once again, I cannot stress, this is by far my favorite of the Battlefield 4 updates. Next up, we have Pearl Market. It's a map featured in um, narrow streets of Hong Kong. What's cool about this one, once again, 2020, very urban combat, little to no vehicles, great color correction. This map definitely does uh, support, in some senses, camping. Every time I played this map, I unfortunately encountered people that always wanted to sit in the middle of the map, which I guess is good, teamwork in a sense, but uh, wasn't really too action-packed, like I mentioned. I am playing on the Xbox 360 for these gameplays, though, which is a little bit of a disappointment. I have a gaming PC, and uh, I really got to put that to use with Battlefield 4. Either way, some quick little trivia on this map. The Bank of China Tower can actually be seen on the west side, and the map is based off of the under-construction housing market area in central Hong Kong. So some cool little information about this map, and another cool, uh, I guess you can say unique map for the DLC. Next up, we have my favorite out of all of them, Propaganda. And, uh, this is the North Korean map, and um, it's great. I really did enjoy this map. My original thought was Russia before the DLC came out, and everyone was telling me, no, 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 it's North Korea. And sure enough, it was North Korea. And um, this map's kind of snowy, which perfectly fits the camo I'm using on this gun. Very action-packed in a sense. It depends really where the fighting is going on. This game we're playing in Conquest, and there wasn't too much action, especially since I'm playing on the Xbox 360. But... A beautiful scenery, just general layout of this map, and I really did enjoy this map. A little bit more than all the others, I really did enjoy all the maps in general. This map just really stood out to me. I don't know what it was about it. I really did like it. The snow was a great touch to it, and it has an urban close quarters feel to it. As for stuff that is on the map, just general interactive things. There's a giant train that will go through the middle of the map occasionally, like this right here. Just goes right through there and plows through anything that's there. Train in the middle of the map, and also the doors on the stationary train cars can be opened and closed, just like other maps. And a lot of this map can easily be destroyed. A lot of the buildings can actually be knocked down. Very destructive. It's in a pretty poor area. I mean, it's North Korea, definitely communist country. A lot of stuff going on over there right now. Either way, a great map. I love the feel of it, and this is by far my personal favorite out of all of the DLC maps and updates. Last but not least, we have Sunken Dragon. Once again, this map features floodgates as its main giant revolution or thing to do event in the game. 
Kind of like Flood Zone, you can uh, drain the map, which is pretty cool. This one's featured in Hong Kong, and it has a really cool, I guess you can say, color correction. Lighting of this map is great. It's kind of a uh, musty, smoky, fiery feel, which I think is great and adds some more diversity to the DLC and update. But once again, a very urban infantry, um, smaller combat map. There is some vehicles on this map, though, but what makes this map really sick, like I mentioned, and my favorite thing about this map is by far the general feel and ambiance of it. Everything's burning, very destroyed kind of feel to it, and uh, this map can be very fun to play the new chain link game mode on. I actually really enjoy the new chain link game mode, something that I wasn't really too sure about at first, but found myself playing it nonstop. Either way, that's about it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and my little breakdown of all of the maps. Uh, let me know your opinions and comments on the new four maps from the Dragon's Teeth DLC down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about them. I'll try to reply to them. And if you guys want to play Battlefield with me, drop me a tweet. I always love to play some Battlefield with you guys. I apologize once again for being just a little bit late, but hopefully you did enjoy the video and picked up something from it. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video I'd really appreciate it if you take a second to hit that like button and if you really liked it, why not add it to your favorites and if you really really liked it and don't want to miss out, make sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date. Thank you.